Yaho, 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 welcome, welcome. How y'all doing? Welcome in my channel. Benvenido. Yo nombre soy Super Genki. My name is Mr. Super Genki. And in today's video, what are we covering? What are we covering? Why do I have one earphone in my ear? I don't know. I need to buy a new pair of earphones. We're covering binge eating because you want to know why? I said that I was going to take this channel, this challenge in that direction. I said I was going to take this channel in that direction. I was going to take a challenge to see if I could overcome overcome the urges to binge eat. And guess what's happening right now? Guess what's happening right now? I'm going through a big, big, big battle. Where? In my mind. Now, I already talked a little bit about this. Binge eating is a disorder, an eating disorder. It is an addiction to eating. And this is not productive for your body. I have been doing binge eating. I have been eating copious amounts of food pretty much my whole, whole, whole life, ever since I was a little kid. I used to be a cute, skinny kid. And then you know what happened? I started going to restaurants, and I, I started looking at my family's food, and I'd be like, are you done with that? Can I have your leftovers? Can I eat that food? And they're like, oh, it's, he's so cute. He's eating all this food. And as I was scarfing this food down, they're like, oh, it's so cute. And I'm just like, rum, 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 rum. That shit didn't go away. <laughs> that shit did not go away, and it developed all the way into my early adulthood, into my early adolescence. Into, I don't even know how, what I am right now because I'm like 24 years old, more than 25. But um, dude, I'm not 25 yet. There's still time. There's still time to save this brain development curve. I don't know. But point I'm trying to say is that I'm having an urge to binge right now. And when you're having urges to binge, it's usually because something's going wrong in your headspace. Now, recently, I don't know if you've seen it, but I've definitely been toned into what's happening in America right now. Stuff is whack. Stuff is whack everywhere, especially in Atlanta, Georgia right now. If you don't know that stuff, I recommend going to Tim Cast's channel and watching one of his most recent videos talking about what happened in Atlanta. It's informative. It makes sense. It shows you the facts. And, you know, I'm over here in Spain. I'm looking at all this stuff. I'm like, wow, man. Can't travel to other nations. Got to go back to America. America is burning to the ground. Like, everything is going wrong. What am I going to do, man? I'm running out of money, too. I'm running out of money. Don't have a job. I'm here in Spain, man. I'm going crazy right now. A little cuckoo. I'm not crazy. Y'all crazy. I'm normal. I thought about the other day to try to make myself feel like I was normal. But, you know, a lot of stuff is going through my head right now. And usually, when you want to binge, when you want to engage in a self-destructive habit, right... You want to rum, 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 rum. It's usually when you're not feeling great. Because when you're feeling good about yourself, you don't want to destroy yourself. You want to destroy yourself when you're not feeling good about yourself. Because that gives you control over your feeling. You see, right now I'm thinking about external things. External forces. Things that are not in my control, but are affecting my headspace. Are making me negative. Are making me overthink. Are making me scared for the future. All these external factors are bombarding my mind right now. Like, bam, 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 ow, bam, why am I hitting myself? I'm doing it because it's actually happening right now, right? And when you have all these external forces trying to come up in here, trying to make you feel better, trying to make you feel worse, I mean, than how you currently feel, you want to take control of that feeling because you don't want to be out of that control. And how can you do that? You can destroy yourself. Very easy, very easy answer. Destruction of the self gives you control of the self. And even though you realize it's not positive, it's not productive, it's not optimistic, it doesn't produce any gains, it does help take your mind off of the negativity. It does help you, you know, stand in one place and be like, you know what, the world's not destroying me right now. I'm destroying myself. My air conditioner just turned on without my permission. See, look at this. I'm going crazy. I have air conditioning powers off. There we go. But when you do this, destruction of the self is very comforting because what it represents is a coping mechanism to deal with reality. And, you know, I've dealt with reality my whole life. I'm positive on the outside. I'm like a weak person on the inside, especially nowadays. Real talk. Recently, oof, my mental game has been so, so, so bad recently. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay because... Things will get better. 
things will get better in the future than they are right now. You can't do this stuff forever. This stuff is not going to go on forever, right? But it feels like it's going to go on forever right now because we're in the moment. We're experiencing this together. And your bad habits are your number one comforter in these moments. Your bad habits are like really going to be like, hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, I'm here. Hey, buddy, hey, hey, hey. And you'll be like, yo, man, I'm, try I'm, try I'm trying to recover, man. I'm trying to recover from this addiction. And they'll be like, hey, buddy, hey, hey, hey. It takes a lot of mental willpower and perseverance to not give in to them. Right before I was making this video, literally right before I was making this video, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, going off to the supermarket, buying those cookies, buying that milk, not those chocolate cookies, I did not like those chocolate cookies, but buying some good cookies and milk and a chocolate bar, coming over here and just rum, 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 feeling like crap, and then going and doing bulimia. You wanna know why? Because that would have deleted all of the feelings I had about the external forces. It would have created internal turmoil that's in my control because I've done it so many times. I've been in that state of mind so many times. I know how to deal with the internal thoughts. I know how to recover myself from these internal like bombs that I'm dropping on myself with my actions, right? I know how to do that stuff. But I don't know how to do that as well with external factors. I have not become accustomed to dealing with external factors since quarantine happened. It really shook me up and I've never been really that great with dealing with external factors because right now it's really, really bad. Like if you watch what's happening in America right now, it's really, really, really bad stuff. But I said I was going to start taking this problem more seriously and that's what this video is today because everyone, we're not alone. You're not alone. I'm not alone. We're all going through something. And the solace is this. I ain't ever going to be famous on YouTube. Never. There's like 0% chance that I'll ever be famous on this platform. But that gives me a lot of room to just make content and to be myself. Be myself on camera with the expectation to know that, you know, no one's going to watch this video. I swear no one is going to watch this video. And I know this because the recent videos that I posted got like one view. What? I have like 850 subscribers and like one view in like 16 hours. <sighs> Crazy. I mean, I know what I did. I know what I did. I went over and just like talked to people and asked them to subscribe to my channel. I don't really know if there are any avid watchers of YouTuber, but y'all are avid watchers of YouTuber. I'm an avid watcher of YouTuber. I'm an avid watcher of YouTube. I know how this works because when you're dealing with crap, what do you do? You watch videos. It helps take your mind off of the crap you're dealing with. Same thing with the eating. And this is my day two battle. I didn't have to film a video for day one because yesterday was actually a pretty good day. But I'm not going to do this every single day. I'm only going to do this whenever like, I'm really dealing with a battle in my mind. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. Like, get away from me, binging. Fuck, 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 fuck. You know? I don't do that very often. I usually just give up. I'm like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just go off and I'll do this stuff tomorrow. Don't worry about it. It's just a problem. I mean, like, oh, it's a run, 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 run. That's how I usually am. But real talk. Real talk. I haven't used real talk in a long time. Real talk. We have to be a little more. Not we. I. No, I'm not going to bring you up into my business. You don't need to be here. Here is all over the place right now. I want you to be over there. I want you to feel safe. I don't want you to feel like you're going crazy. Maybe that's how I feel. But I got to be a little more careful about how I interact with myself. Because I think the biggest mental weakness that I have right now is not believing in myself and just giving into these habits to make myself feel better. Not like going to these mental mechanisms inside my body that I've formed over many years of traveling around the world. Just going back to the old stuff, the easy way out. You know what I mean? That's what binge eating is. That's what it does to the body. That's what it does to the mind. You know, I hope you all enjoyed this video today because this is, this is how I'm coming at them from the rest of my, the rest of my YouTube career, which is till the day I die. Man, that's going to be cool. I'm never going to be successful. I'm never going to be famous, but I'm going to make YouTube videos for a long, long, long time. I mean, until the, th the platform falls down, which is probably going to happen in the next 10 years. But hey, YouTube. Thank you, buddy, for letting me make these videos. Even though you, your algorithm doesn't really, even though your algorithm doesn't really favor me that much, I'm okay. Let's do this together.
my computer just turned off. But yeah, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification button because subscribes don't even mean that much because y'all ain't watching. No one's watching my videos anyway, right? <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one, yeah? Bye-bye. And...